Okay, so I'm just gonna go for a little bike ride and try not to get hit by a car. I know what you're thinking. What does riding a bike have to do with a connected car? We'll see that car behind me getting closer and closer. The driver is able to detect my mobile phone using Wi-Fi built into the vehicle. Cyclist ahead. And that warning may have just prevented me from getting smushed. It's just one of many car technologies being developed here in the Motor City. GM has also decked out its Chevy Volt with 4G LTE connectivity. Think of it as a high-speed wireless broadband <laughs> hotspot on wheels where devices are integrated and they share all kinds of information. The 4G LTE bandwidth allows us to do a whole lot more than we've ever been able to do before. So each of these screens represents one yeah, of right. the screens in the car? That's exactly right. So this screen in the middle is this particular screen here. Mm -hmm. The two on the sides represent the two tablets that we've brought into the vehicle so I can take Angry Birds mm -hmm. and move Angry Birds right over to this application. Now it's playing in the back and I can take YouTube over here and give the complete YouTube control to uh, the rear seat. Then go crazy, whether that's playing video games. Imagine if you were a kid sitting back here, how happy you would be right now. Or watching cat videos on YouTube. Ooh. Now I'm gonna test out one of the most promising elements of high-speed 4G internet in a car, a video call from the back seat. I have Skype loaded up and I'm gonna call our interns back in San Francisco. Hey guys, wave. Oh, they put the little logo in the back. You guys are the best. Wish you were here. We're driving fast cars. It's really fun. We can't hear them because of our studio mics, but this is pretty good video quality. All right, good job. Get back to work. Now the strongest trend in in-car entertainment is making the in-car systems feel more like smartphones or interfaces that you're already used to. Big touch screens, increasingly capacitive displays, and of course the ability to bring your own media in a much more seamless way. Be it music, personal photos, even home movies. At Ford, engineers are working on ways to analyze your driving patterns and then help you drive in a more energy efficient way. We took out one of their plug-in hybrid research vehicles for a test drive. We had defined the parking lots around our campus as green zones, and as you drive, you're gonna see the car turn it, engine on and off. The green zones are areas that are recommended for driving in all electric mode versus gas mode, say when you're near home or a school. As you enter the parking lot area here, listen, you're gonna see the, oh, the car turn it off. off. <laughs> it's such a defined boundary, like, nope, not yet, not yet and electric and you can see from the, on the map too that we're in a green zone the car can also store your driving habits in the cloud and through predictive software show you a better route the next time you drive it seems inevitable that our cars will soon be wi-fi or 4g enabled so you can do things like manage your home's energy from your car or get an alert if there's another vehicle nearby my fault it's all amazing, the blending of internet connectivity with our cars. I, for one, cannot wait. Wrong path.